<laughs> nah. <laughs> Add a little bit more. Oh. <laughs> 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 nah, honey, you need to throw a little bit more than that. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> let me find out if this got some flavor in it now. Gotta throw a little, little bit more than that. Got a little bit of it's salad. What? That is not good as anything. <laughs> all right, all right. All jokes aside, all jokes aside. Okay, let's take a look at me again. All right. This was me. Stomach was hanging out. Wasn't feeling so happy. My chest wasn't looking so good. My confidence levels were low. I want to change my life. I'll never forget this day. One day, I went to the boardwalk. And I won a box of chocolates. It was a family pack. I ate about half of that box within 24 hours. And I was looking, I was looking at that box of chocolates the next day on the TV after downing it with some soda. And I was telling myself, you know, I'm addicted to sugar. I'm addicted to sweets. And you know what, I don't want diabetes. And I want to possibly, you know, further myself as an actor. So, you know what? I decided to give up that addiction and just change myself. And live a better life. So I did. So I also decided to change my diet, which has been very beneficial into reaching my goals. But check this out. The American Heart Association says that the average American consumes 92.4 grams of sugar in a day and 3,436 milligrams of sodium. Woo! Now that's a lot when they say that the average man is supposed to consume 37.5 grams of sugar and the average woman should consume only 25 grams of sugar. Do you see the big difference? We're also supposed to consume between 1,500 milligrams and 2,300 milligrams of sodium in a day. Oh my! Can, can, can you please, please listen to me? Can you continue just listen to me for, for just one second? All right? Having a high sugar and a sodium level diet does not only put on the weight, but it also runs you the risk of having a stroke, getting diabetes, heart attack, or any other kind of physical illnesses that's out there. Listen, I don't want that to happen to you because I love you. I love you. So is it really worth it? All right, so this week, what I want you to do is, I want you to change your diet. I want you to count your sodium intake, and I want you to count your sugar intake. Me, I have about 30 grams of sugar in a day and 1,500 milligrams of sodium, and I feel good. So this is what I want you to do. Every time you eat something, I want you to start counting the amount of sugar and sodium that's in it. So for example, I love me some Snap Peak Crisp. These things are slamming, jamming, all right? So it has about 3.5 servings in this one bag right here. And each serving is 50 milligrams. So that equals about 175 milligrams of sodium, all right? So I subtract that out of my 1,500 milligrams for the day. So, so now I don't want to hear, oh, uh, uh, if I don't put that much salt in my food or if I don't add a bunch of sweets, that my food is not going to taste good. I don't want to hear that. There are other alternatives that's out there that'll satisfy your taste buds, okay? Last thing, there are no cheap days with this diet. If you want to get better, if you want to lose the weight, if you want to start feeling healthy and don't run the risk of possibly having a stroke, getting diabetes, or maybe even a heart attack, you have to stay committed, okay? Remember, one day at a time of hard work goes a long way and it adds up. Let's get better together. I love y'all. Please continue on with week one to week two. Also, you can go back and check out some of our previous videos. Please subscribe and share. Let's get better together.